Felix here and Winston, you'll see him in a second. What do you need to be aware of for the week are two or maybe three very, very important things. Winston, where are you? There is Winston. Um, key thing, SPX, S&P 500, has basically been flat, right? Since mid-end January, nothing's really happened there. But the way we are positioned is that CTAs, those dumb algo funds, if the market goes up, they're going to buy about 17 billion of stocks. If the market goes down, wait for it, they're going to sell about 215 billion. So the downward risk is way, 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 way greater than the potential upside. That's something. If you follow the investment bank commentary, they're basically saying, look, unemployment is at 43 year lows, whether you believe those numbers or not, it's a different story. And um, retail sales are at like I don't know, 10 year highs or something, or all time highs possibly. So do you think the Fed's job is done? Is that what it's saying to you? I kind of don't think so. And then you get Bullard coming out going, you know, much higher for much longer. They might want to do another half a percentage point hike, maybe even go to 6%. If you look at all of that and you see this rally and this rebound in big tech, you're kind of thinking, is everybody crazy? Um, this is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. And that's kind of been my, my midterm view for, for some months now. Winston, don't go too far, please. Winston's running ahead. There he is, uh, snooping around. Uh, so, yeah, I'd be cautious. And I think in the near term, I'd be very cautious. Now, we set up a Microsoft trade yesterday, the day before, uh, through our newsletter, Trading Floor Whispers. That trade went up 90% yesterday. So that's probably a good time to take some profits. Um, and, you know, there are opportunities to make money from that. And another trade that a lot of people are doing, a lot of institutions are doing, is um, it's actually really quite nice in the neighborhood. By the way, if you know where we are, you get a gold, gold star if you can guess it from the... Uh, it's quite hard to guess, though, I think. Maybe when we get to the end, you can guess it. Um, so, yeah, I think essentially there's another trade a lot of people are doing is they're buying the VIX, um, May 17th VIX. It's about, it was about 50 cents when I talked about it on the live stream this week. I think it's now at about 60, 65 cents. Uh, so potentially... If the VIX goes up, as it has done, again, a hugely profitable trade. So that trade would have made 40% money or something since we talked about it. So, you know, there are definitely always ways you, can, ways you can hedge your portfolio and make money in these situations. You don't need to be the suffering misery in the corner. And I think that's really important to learn. Um, there's also something we are definitely going to touch on on our masterclass in, um, on Thursday. So make sure you signed up for that, felixfriends.org slash wealth felixfriends.org slash wealth. And I'll teach you the secrets that I learned from Wall Street of how you can make trades and, and money and another income stream with very, very little time because that's generally me. Um, because I like doing things like this. I like walking around in the mornings in beautiful parts of France and, and enjoying myself. Yeah, so I guess for me, the, the story continues kind of what I've been saying since probably November, December. It's like, uh, beware, be prepared. And... Um, here is a clue. I think if you know this area, this will probably give it away. Uh, you can probably tell where we are. So there we are. Uh, Winston, wait. There he is. He's pretty good, isn't he? He just waits when I ask him to. So yeah, that's really my story. Is um, Be cautious. Be wary. Think about some hedging. Think about um, how you can make money when the market goes down. Um, investment banks, are some of them are touting that we're going to go to 3,800 by March, in which case those guys who've hedged will make an absolute killing. So there we are. I wish you a beautiful weekend. I don't wish to depress you. Uh, markets do go up and down in, in you know, it doesn't, this isn't ever a, a straight linear line. Um, and, and Winston wishes you a, uh, Winston, there he is. Winston wishes you a beautiful weekend and a great start to the trading week. Thank you, Winston. Yes, he does. All right. See you soon.